Tesla, the electric juggernaut of America. Few have tried, but none have come close to the power Tesla commands. Led by their ambitious visionary billionaire CEO, Elon Musk, Tesla is on a quest to save the planet. From the Model 3 to now much recently the unusually designed Cybertruck, the world has come to see Tesla as the global leader in the electric car market. In 2019, Tesla sold 367,500 cars where 300,815 consisted of the Model 3 alone. This puts the Model 3 in the running for the highest sold electric car in the world. Despite that, Tesla has a handful of companies attempting to dethrone the EV king. And more fascinating, a majority of them are actually located in China. Hence, let's delve into the EV world of China to discover why the emergence of electric car companies is quite evident in their economy. First, let's state the obvious. China is huge. Boasting a population of over 1.3 billion people, the potential market is voluminous. And to give a comparison, CNN's reporter Charles Riley estimated China's 15th largest city, Harbin, has 2 million more people than New York City. However, with its enormous population comes downsides. Air and water pollution are just two of many more. For some context, about 350,000 to 400,000 premature deaths come from air pollution in China. The pollution had attained a point where in 2008, Beijing introduced the odd evening rationing policy. As the name hints to, the policy allowed only even last number license plates to drive one day and odd last number license plates to drive the other. China's draw to EVs was a step to improve their pollutions, and in pursuance to a cleaner China, the country allowed over 500 manufacturers to create EVs. Since the amount of companies assembling EVs is quite large, the focus of the essay will primarily surround companies I found interesting or had a significant share in the market. Let's begin with the first company. It's been dubbed with the moniker, the Tesla of China. NIO is its name and the EVs are its thing. No applause? Okay, I get it. Founded by William Lee in 2014, its goal was to provide AI-centric electric cars that bring an amazing experience for its users. Their Chinese name, Wei Le, meaning blue sky coming in English, is a homage paid to the goal for a cleaner Chinese sky. Moreover, as they have expanded, the company has opened offices in San Jose, California and London, United Kingdom, along with its offices in Shanghai, China. With investors like Tencent, Baidu, Lenovo, and Sequoia, Nio has the money to compete for the foreseeable left. So what vehicles does the company have? So far, Nio has three cars on the market. The EP9 was debuted in 2014 in the Saatchi Gallery at the launch of Nio and started production in 2016. Quite known for its track records, the two-seater sports car has an impressive motor of 334 horsepower. The battery life lasts for an average 260 miles before needing a 45 minute recharge or an 8 minute replacement. The acceleration speed, however, is blinding as it reaches speeds of 62 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. Some interesting features of the car include an abundance of screens. And these include dashboard screens for both driver and passenger that include heart rate, lateral g-forces, top speed and lap time a center console screen that advertises a track map, lap time, performance data, and the car's position, and lastly a steering wheel screen that is akin to their next EV's Formula E racing screen. Sales for the car are actually quite interesting as well. Only 16 of the EP9s have ever been sold. Six of them were sold to a few NIO investors for $2,912,000 $498 and the rest were sold to the public. 
its best-selling car, the ES6, sold over 20,200 in 2019, and its SUV capabilities allow it for a wide variety of uses. Its battery is an industry standard of a lithium-ion, and the same applies for its predecessor, the ES8. 8,872 ES8s were sold, making the total number of NIOS cars sold 29,076 in 2019. Looking at the numbers at first glance, most would agree that NIO isn't even in the same playing field at Tesla at the moment. Tesla has one vehicle selling over 300,000 units, while NIO's total is less than 30,000 units. Yet do not underestimate NIO. Keep in mind the company only began six years ago in this time span. NIO has successfully mass produced two EVs that have above average reviews, and during Tesla's production of the Model 3, there were major setbacks and pushbacks which delayed the production and later shipment of the car. And when the cars arrived, many customers were less than impressed with the paint jobs and the quality of the car. Also, instead of imitating Tesla supercharging stations, NIO created battery replacement stations all over China. The speed of these replacements proved to be faster than recharging them as well. Additionally, NIO is diversifying by investing in their clothing company, NIO Life. From the brain of the famous designer Hussein Shalayan, the EV company releases a limited selection in Shanghai's Fashion Week 2018, and now await the right time to release another drop again. The second company is a relative newcomer in the scene. However, its founders Carlsten Breitfeld and Daniel Kirchert had massive investments from major companies like Tencent, Foxconn, and later the Chinese state-owned First Auto Works to make the company grow. This was a major factor in decision to include Biden into the competitors list. At present day, the company has no EVs on the market, but do not be a fool as Biden is determined to release three vehicles by 2022. Biden's first vehicle to start production is their M-Byte SUV. Production started in 2019 and the United States release is scheduled for 2020. Its price is affordable at 45 k but the maximum 323 mile range is quite lacking compared to its other competitors in the market. Despite that, the car's interior design is a unique take on driving. The Biton's vehicles appear extremely screen heavy, even more than the Naya. With a dashboard screen of 48 inches wide, the possibility of video calling others from the car is here. This is not by any means the only screen as well. There are two backseat screens, combined with a middle compartment screen, in addition to a steering wheel screen. These by no means are the extent of the abilities of the EV. Many other abilities include rotating front seats, a flat antenna, 35 minute charging, and an option between 2-3 setup or a 2 plus 2 setup with the back seats and more. The K-Byte, which is an M-Byte but in sedan form, was recently debuted. Using the info gathered from the N-Byte, Many of the same perks will come along with the K-Byte. Unfortunately, not much information is abundant with the Byton as there are no sales to determine or analyze. Nevertheless, Byton's backing from China should not be underestimated. Even though the subsidies will dissipate during 2020, I predict Byton to be an interesting player in the EV market. Admittedly, our discussion has only been focused on the new kids on the block. On the other hand, many in China would call this company the leader in the EV market. A subsidiary of the Chinese corporation BYD Co. Ltd. BYD Auto is a manufacturer that primarily focuses on electric buses, bicycles, forklifts, replaceable batteries, and trucks. The company launched in 2008 largely in response to the overcrowding in China and continued on their quest. With the BYD E series and other cars like the Shen, Han, S2, and Yuan receiving general praise from the public, 
the total vehicles sold were 451,246. This includes their electric buses as well, which many of these are sent for public city transit. You may be thinking that EVs are a relatively new industry and most of the companies in the space only have a few cars in the markets. So how is BYD able to have such a huge selection of vehicles in combination with their buses and coaches? The short answer? The Chinese government subsidies. Matter of fact, the Chinese government has given subsidies to all the corporations on this list, but BYD has by far received the most. Reporter Echo Huang asserts the government has given BYD $1 billion in subsidy. Unavoidably, the corporation has had many scandals. For instance, many manufacturers claim BYD's vehicles are clear duplicates of their own. Toyota claims BYD's E1 was a copy of the Toyota Iago, and the BYD E3 was another copy of the Toyota's Corolla. Toyota is not the sole complaint either. The likes of Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, and Renault all launched their complaints against the company. However, the Chinese court sided with BYD for not infringing on the patents. Another large scandal includes their buses in Albuquerque. The Albuquerque Council filed a lawsuit on BYD due to the major issues of the electric buses. These included falling doors, doors opening on their own, and battery issues. In conclusion, the lawsuit amounted to nothing and both sides had no money exchange. Overall, Tesla is a great company. What it's doing for the world is commendable and motivating. Seeing humans innovate makes me want to shoot for the sky. However, it doesn't hurt to have a little competition. My mother always told me one thing. The emotions that make people innovate are inspiration and desperation. And there is nothing that brings that out more than competition. So keep an eye out for these companies and see which one lasts the test of time. Or maybe find one I haven't discussed yet and then share it with me in the comments down below. And yes, I know it's pronounced Neo, not now.